Before we get started, I want to let you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm not an esthetician, I am nothing, I have absolutely no medical background, but I am a really, really rock star DIYer. So this is just a little recipe I put together for my own personal use, and I'm sharing it with you. Really be careful, please do your own research and make your own decision about whether this recipe is going to be perfect for you like it's perfect for me. Today we have the upgraded DIY vitamin C recipe. Welcome in, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. And at long last, I'm sharing my upgraded DIY vitamin C recipe. I know I mentioned it months ago and I've been hearing from so many of you like, girl, where is it? <laughs> TikTok, we're waiting. I'm finally here with the upgraded DIY vitamin C recipe. I shared my original recipe, gosh, it's been probably almost two years ago and it's been so popular. I started DIYing my own vitamin C serum a long time ago because it's so easy and it's so affordable. But that original recipe didn't have the E and ferulic acid that a lot of vitamin C serums have. And what experts will say, or people in the industry, I don't know if they're all experts, will tell you that it's the E and the ferulic acid that help the efficacy of the vitamin C serum to give us that brighter, clearer, fresher skin. I've kind of put together a little at-home DIY version of that, and I'm going to be sharing that today. If you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you haven't signed up for my email newsletter list, girl, what are you waiting for? <laughs> The link is right down below. I send out a really cool email every Sunday morning featuring all the tips and the tricks and the great bargains and buys that I find during the week. It's really great. It's really short. It's really free. So go ahead and sign up and we can keep in touch during the week. I'm going to go ahead and link the video for my original DIY vitamin C serum recipe right up here. And it's going to include all the benefits of vitamin C. Of course, we know it brightens the skin. It's a terrific antioxidant, but that video really Really is longer and has a lot more information about vitamin C serums. I'm not going to go into all those details today. I'm just going to get right into the recipe, but go ahead and go over and check that out. I'll have it also listed in the description box down below if you want more information on vitamin C serums. I love this DIY recipe because it is so very easy and it's so very affordable and you can customize it to the level of potency that you're looking for. And I actually have a downloadable PDF and that'll be listed in the description box down below that shows you the different levels. I think there's a 10%, a 20%, and a 15%. So you can really customize this recipe to however it will be best for your skin depending on the sensitivity. In addition, all the ingredients that I'm going to be sharing today I'll have listed down below so you'll be able to pick them up. And I did double check before I filmed this video to make sure that the ingredients were available. And as of right now, they are. But I can't really talk to what's going to happen in the future. So if you're interested in doing this and you want to get the ingredients, go ahead and jump on it because the ingredients for this recipe, the containers you're going to get, are going to last you forever. I am still on my second container of vitamin C powder powder and I've been using it gosh for over two years. So I promised you I was going to make this short and sweet. Let's go ahead and cover what you are going to need for this vitamin C recipe. First thing you're going to want is some distilled water. You're going to need a mixing container. This is just a little spice jar that I cleaned out and now I use it for making my vitamin C serum. You're going to need some topical grade L-ascorbic acid powder. This powder is from The Ordinary, and as of right now, it's available on Amazon and on The Ordinary site. This will last you a long, long time. You can see the container right here, and it has the powder right inside. This will last you... <laughs> for ages. You're going to need some vitamin E oil, and this is Purador. This is their professional vitamin E oil, so large jar, this will last you for years. You'll need the resveratrol 3% and ferulic acid 
3% from the ordinary. This is how we're going to get our ferulic acid right here, and we're going to get a little added boost of the resveratrol. You're going to need a storage container for your vitamin C. I like these little serum containers with the dropper, and you can either just clean out a serum container that you already have, or you can get these off of Amazon. You are going to want to make sure that you have a colored glass container because vitamin C serums are very, very volatile. In other words, they don't last forever. They expire. They kind of turn a weird orange yellow color and sunlight really impacts the longevity of your serum. So you want to keep light away from your serum, hence the colored glass jar. You're going to need some glycerin. This is from the Now Company. I've had this since the beginning, so you can see how long this is going to last you. You're going to want a couple of measuring spoons, a one teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon, and a trusty funnel. <laughs> and you're gonna be all set. What I do to keep this very, very easy and very, very handy because I go through vitamin C serum really quickly. I just like almost splash it all over my face because I make it at home. It's super affordable. It's less than a dollar a bottle, even with the added ingredients. And I can make it so quickly that, you know, I use a lot of it. So I just keep the recipe on a little post-it note and I keep that post-it note stuck on top of my vitamin C powder. So it's super easy for me to put together a batch really quickly in my kitchen. So I have all my ingredients lined up here. The first thing I'm going to do is add the water to my mixing container. I believe this recipe is the 20% solution, but double check the PDF to get the recipe that really works for you. If you have more sensitive skin, you want the lower percentage of vitamin C. If you don't have sensitive skin, the higher percentage. My skin is not sensitive, so I think this is the 20% recipe, which will be great. It really does brighten your skin. So I'm going to go ahead and put three teaspoons of water into my container. This is so easy, you guys. You're going to crack up <laughs> when you see how easy this is. Set that aside. The next thing I'm going to do is add a quarter of a teaspoon of the L-ascorbic powder. Now, this is a specific type of L-ascorbic acid powder. It's for a topical usage. You're going to go onto Amazon and you're going to see a whole bunch of powders. Those are to ingest. Those are nutritional powders. You want to make sure that you get a topical powder. It's a different mesh and a different grade. So I'm going to do a quarter of a teaspoon of this powder, and you don't have to be exact. It's not going to, you know... <laughs> make that much of a difference. I'm going to go ahead and drop that powder in there. Then I'm going to add just a couple of drops of my vitamin E oil. This recipe is a whole lot like spaghetti sauce. In other words, you can customize it to what really is going to work for you. There is no set ingredient list. There is no magic to getting the formula just a particular way. It really is just what works for you. So I'm going to take this vitamin E oil right here and I'm going to put in, let's see, that was about eight or nine drops. Then I'm going to take the ordinary resveratrol and ferulic acid and do the same thing. Just add enough to encourage that efficacy of the vitamin C. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten drops in there. And then I'm going to take my glycerin. And what the glycerin does is that it adds a nice little slip to your vitamin C serum. When you first get your glycerin, go ahead and put a little bit on the back of your hand so you can feel it. The glycerin doesn't have a specific skincare usage. It is more to give the vitamin C serum a little bit of texture and a little bit of slip so it's not so watery. So you can go ahead and add just exactly how much you want. I'm going to add about one teaspoon. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right in there, pour it into my mixing container. Then I'm going to put the lid on and shake it up. And that's it, you guys. That's as complicated as making your own vitamin C serum with E and for acid. It really is so very easy. So now that I've got my mixture, I'm going to take my colored glass container. Really, did that take me like two minutes or less than two minutes? It's so doggone quick. I'm going to put my funnel into that glass container. I really should have a smaller funnel here. I'm going to pour it in. And boom, I am good to go. I've got a brand new mixture of vitamin C serum with E and ferulic acid, all in my kitchen.
So right here we have a brand new, fresh, homemade, effective vitamin C serum with the E and the ferulic acid to increase the efficacy of the vitamin C. You can see how super easy it is and once you have all the ingredients, girl, it's going to take you about 30 seconds to put the whole mixture together and you've got a brand new bottle. When I make my own, I use it very generously. I just splash that all over my face because it's so easy, so affordable, and so very effective. Vitamin C is an absolute staple in my basic skincare routine and I'll go ahead and list that video right up here. If you're just starting out at skincare and you don't know how to get started, I've broken down a really simple basic program in this video. So vitamin C serum at home in your kitchen with the added efficacy of E and ferulic acid right here. Well, I hope you found this video fun, useful, and helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 and over 60 women, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. You guys know I get so tickled when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.